Hello, hello everybody. And welcome, welcome. I hope you're all having a good Monday. I'm here today in uh, the Weekly Art Challenge Zoo with my friend DML. Hello. I'm uh, <laughs> enjoying the new masks. I think he's got the recent edition mask, the latest uh, elephant. Welcome in, in week four. And um, so, yeah, since today's uh, the day for the Weekly Art Challenge Zoo, we'll be wrapping up by checking out everyone's awesome entries. And oh, there he goes. He's already taking a ride out of town. Okay, goodbye, DMM. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, DMM will be joining us for a little bit of finishing touches on the zoo. We'll walk through, we'll check everything out, and then I'll make us a uh, elephant just to put in the final enclosure, to put a final little bow on our weekly art challenge zoo. So what's left to do though for our zoo? Let me just get into the fly cam and check it out. It's a great question. I think we could add more nice things in the buffalo enclosure. That's a true. Clutter in the lion enclosure. I think the camel enclosure is done, to be honest. Oh, yeah, the camel is. I feel the best about this one. This one is the most ready. Oh, hey, Zergling. Um, hey. I've even snuck in a little extra addition right here at the end. I was having a little bit of fun with that one over the weekend. Oh, yeah, yeah, you camel. <laughs> How can we up the game in the lion enclosure? We've got a little waterfall, a little bit of uh, sunbathing rocks. Is it the um, the little houses in the back that maybe I could make something else to mm. take that space? It's a tricky one. Um, got some trees. Water looks a lot flat. I like the waterfall. Sure. I wonder if it's like a, a fish swimming about might make the difference. Yeah. Okay, little fish. Is it splashable currently? Or is it just a solid object placeholder? Yeah, it's to have the little splishy splash. Because I know the boundary breakers are going to want to wander in there and <laughs> hang out with lions. No, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible immediately to Yeah. <laughs> and I guess the thing that's most concerning about people leaping into the animal enclosure for the lions specifically is that the water is not splashable. Not that there's any threat to their life or anything. Yeah, that's another good point. I think we should put on, on contact kill with the lion. <laughs> no. Um, you know what? Yeah. Maybe on just like one or two of them so they'll never see it coming. Because <laughs> like some lions might be chill. I've seen people that like, well, just this one dude that like has grown up with the pride of lions and just, <laughs> that guy's living on the edge. Big kill. That's that one. Oh yeah, foxies for sure. Uh, obviously the one with me has to hurt you. 
if he's eating, you don't mess with it. And the one hiding behind the tree is like, don't talk to me, bro. <laughs> yeah, he's shy. He don't want to be messed with. Don't go touching that one. Just anger him and... Bam. Ah. <laughs> I can't Just leave you. splash. All right, I'm going to go run into the water and see if that, that'll do the trick. Here we go. Okay, well, it's making the sound at least. Oh. I wonder if we could do like um, another blue object slightly above with some opacity to give it a bit of depth, perhaps, so it doesn't look so flat. Yeah, I think it just needs to not be opaque. Right, and I need to get some like tall grass, perhaps. Oh, I've fallen into the lake. Hold on. Oh no. So, did you have a good weekend? Did you get up to anything fun? I had a great weekend of doing absolutely nothing. Excellent. That is the way. <laughs> Sometimes not being productive in any capacity is the greatest feeling. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there is a splash going on. It's just so tiny because I made it for a stream example some other time. Okay, that's what's happening. Also, this terrain is doing some kind of something. My character's having a little jitterbug. Just stand over here. There we go. Maybe I can steal one of Box Elias's. He's not gonna know. Okay, so that doesn't work then. Now we know. So many splash effects. Sorry, you're inside the grass to help. Oh, I wonder if you hit me in the head. <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of there. Splish splash. I'll just copy that over. Try a little waterfall. <gasps> Wait, that's right. We can do that now. Copy. Taste is new. This is the best thing ever. <laughs> I'm never gonna get tired of it. <laughs> Getting unnaturally hyped for this feature. It's a pretty good feature. You think you're safe over there? Ooh, reeds! <laughs> I forgot about the line. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is the big one as well. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just gonna sneak by you now. <laughs> Step a lot uh, more carefully now that it matters. Wait, cattails? There's no there's no reeds. Uh, oh yeah, I guess there's I'm gonna put that on my to-make list because I'm thinking of other na nature assets that I've always <laughs> kind of wanted to have around. Hey, um, Summer. Yeah? There's a fucking elephant head inside the pool. Oh, it's me. <laughs> hey, there you are. <laughs> hey, that's what elephants do. They chill at the watering hole, right? You know? Put on your elephant mask, you hang out at the watering hole. That's immersion. That's getting into character. Oh, yeah. Nice. Might be a faster change. We need more birds. Yeah. 
and and just to have some floating around i think some stuff recently came over and if i'm correct i can just launch some birds into the sky right now yeah where's my birds where are they where are they, where are they? some crazy tech <laughs> no i didn't get my birds ah it's fine <laughs> Sad day. It's okay. Can make them again. Really? So, we got we got an elephant here to see how to make a funky one, which is cool. I love it. Oh yeah, it have shown oh. off the new enclosure yeah. area. Weird old baby elephant. <laughs> the most adorable this is if you've ever like read or seen those precious memories stuff and like those little tchotchkes that you get that little ceramic ones this makes me think of those and like i want this as like a little tchotchke to put like in the kitchen or dining area <laughs> with all the precious memory figures yeah it's so cute And that excellent mask that deserves some attention, even on like a higher resolution, because he looks so chill. Yeah. He's got the like lifted eyebrow, like uh, I'm just here, man. He's here. Yeah, just Max a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect ratio while. of ear to head as well. Thank you very much. Uh, I was mostly because I wanted like a little trunk finger thing you know like if you put your hand out and you close the middle through pinky mm -hmm. and then you just sort of make a c that's like a trunk with the grabber yeah i wanted to add that but then it didn't work very well with the outline and it was too close to the ear and i'm just like uh, i'll just yeah. Pretend. It's a pinch for space. Um, I'm glad that you kept the negative space between the trunk and ear here, which I know, like, I think maybe that would have happened if you were trying to include a lot of that pinch detail with the, the tip of the trunk that might have been lost, but a pinch of negative space goes a long way. Yeah. I think it's really well done here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my yeah. gosh, what happened to me? <laughs> What's going on here? Okay, there we are. Oh, I'm seeing some bad frame drops today. Let's see if we can get through it. Okay, there we go. The uh, monkey house. I, I working on? Did I miss the buffalo one? Oh yeah, because um, I didn't look instead. Okay. I don't think you missed it. You were the one that put the bird there. On my little buffalo. Um, I got really confused. I was like, where's my buffalo art? And then um, I realized that we had his monkey instead. Oh yes, and he is chilling in his own personal enclosure at the monkey house, which now has some a little bit of nicer pathing. The terrain mess that I left it in last time we were streaming. <laughs> the terrain mess. I know. I thought I could make a little land bridge right into the road with it, but the resolution of the terrain is so, or the the scale of the terrain is so high that painting it and trying to make it look like road was just like not gonna. Mm. It was not gonna happen. <laughs> I like how there's like a little cave around the back <laughs> in the corner. A little cave? Uh, let's see. Behind the... Behind these trees, yeah. Oh. <laughs> don't know when that happened. Oh! Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I did that on purpose, but it's nice <laughs> that it's there. <laughs> if there is a mole creature, there's gonna be like a super secret extra enclosure and we'll put them over here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
see. I was oh, I was gonna put some birds in the sky. That's what I was trying to do. Oh, there's so many birds. That one. That'll do. That'll be perfect. There we go. All right. No. I don't think I want this one to just be moving forward. You should circle in the air, I think. So to do that, I'm going to make a little pivot point and tuck it up into the sky. Snap the bird onto it, and easy peasy. No, well, the house is inside the wall. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> I'm not an architect. <laughs> Wait, isn't that what houses do? Yeah, it's supposed to have walls. <laughs> yes. It just has extra wall. It means it's extra house. I thought it was a quick start. Spin, that's what it was. any taller but it's getting extremely wide so well i guess people can just leave <laughs> <laughs> if they want to get out they can get out having said that you can just jump down and walk around so why am i this is what you should do in the zoo you should just leave <laughs> <laughs> no stay everybody <laughs> um the only things that I'm like what on earth is happening to the bird I think I saw this starting to happen to me over the weekend Whoa. where it's like a, a dropped frame in a voxel object animation see how Occasionally, it's invisible. I don't see anything at all. Bird. Bird pivot. That's a no. It's a bluebird fly. Huh. Are these animations flickering for you, or is it just me and my frame drop? There is problems? no voxel object on this. Well, I can see it in the settings, but I can't see it. Let me try to disable and enable it again. Maybe a stop start would work. Yeah, let me try that. Oh, wait! The Discord sign was flickering then. Oh. Oh, uh, Entity Net. Well, that work? Well, I suppose it doesn't even need that. Now it's just completely invisible for me. Hmm. I'm gonna pull it towards the character. Oh, I can see it now. That's what's happening. Okay, so some part of the animation frame was like teetering on the end of render distance or something like that is what I'm starting to think. Ah, uh, okay. So I'm gonna start to drag it away from you again and see once it starts to become invisible again. I'm repeatedly spamming F so I can get it in shot now. Looks good. Um, there it is. About this far from the player. <laughs> huh. Okay. Uh, well, that... 
how am I gonna put the birds super high up and have them still be what if I turn the play off am I able to pull it away further okay no very peculiar the cars are now spawning on top of each other Interesting things happening at the zoo today. It's getting wild. <laughs> Lots of ghosts and things that want to become ghosts. Yeah. Let's <laughs> we can. I don't really want. Ah, oh, no, I can put take out and then get rid of the script that makes things big. Okay. And distance threshold, maybe that's it. Aha, that's what we need. And if I take the tag interactable off and the scripts, there are stationary cams. Not like a this bird fly backwards because I didn't think that far ahead. What part of the plan? What do you mean? Just turn that around. There we go. Oh, that's clever. What's up? Okay, I've just found your secret area where you do the thumbnail <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah that's on my import game sometimes i leave it over but i'll switch the camera to show the audience here's my thumb cam and i fov bend to have this little bit of impact and then i'll just push and pull on these a little bit Snap a thumbnail and it's done. Hello. <laughs> yeah. All the text is right here on this root object. And uh, sometimes I can shimmy this around so I can give more space to the feature objects for the thumbnail. And bada bing bada boom. There you go. Easy peasy thumbnail. Yeah. I'll switch it back now to the regular camera. Lamp posts. <laughs> Lamp posts. Bridge. Yes. Yep, yep. Right. If there are some you know, the art challenges that we could post or never mind. I think I have a lamp post, but it might not be super fitting. Oh that is so much nicer than what I was about to do. Oh hey. Oh, this one looks so nice. Oh, hi, Xavier. We're just putting in some lamps into our weekly art challenge zoo. Alright, which one would we like? I'm 
I'm so extra that I love the one on the right, but I know that what the scene probably calls for is the one on the left. Yeah, I'm thinking the same. But man, I feel like I would find this other one, the the, the one on the right in like Bloodborne or something where, you know, with their, all the ornate little detailings on the top of the lamp and yeah. the fact that there's four and at all different heights. And... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bye. Mm, um, do you want them? Like, yeah. Hey, a prefab. Sprite, Ashley. <laughs> welcome, welcome. We're just working on the final touches for the zoo. And, uh, quick sippy break. Now you want to play Blood? I miss Bloodborne. I don't have the the PlayStation to play it on anymore. But I like. I'm burned out on From Software games, but I still have a soft spot for Bloodborne in particular. It's just a good game. There's towns finished, <laughs> says Zergling. Trying to grab the one bird and duplicate it, but now I have to chase it around the map. <laughs> <laughs> Get back here. Oh. <laughs> right, let's break that parent real quick. What a statement. Break that parent. I wouldn't recommend that I'm honest with you. I'll try not to. Break too many parents. There we go. Now we'll parent it back and see how it's. another pivot and then I'm going to have a few extra birds flying somewhere else. to duplicate those. So I need to back here. Oh, at the entrance and my way, my way around. That's the gallery. That's such a nice detail with the lamps there. This kind of fills up the path. Is it something more going on? Mm. Now I just want to install a little like, uh, what are they called? When they put like a little bit of hedge or planters around like a lamp post. Oh yeah, yeah, the little planter boxes. Yeah, planter boxes. I have no idea where the other pivot went. I'm just going to guess it's over here somewhere. We can actually, we can kind of do that. Do the planter boxes? Yes. Uh, it's not bosh. <laughs> <clears throat> not these little boxes that are made for the remixer. Ooh. 
Oh, these are lovely. These are perfect, actually. Yeah, and you can kind of like modular stack them in fun mm. ways. That's perfect. I don't think about... they'll really work with the... Oh! I see what you mean. So, this should probably facing this way then, leaving room for people to walk along the edge if they want. Yeah. This, ah, oh, this perfectly into the side, well, not quite perfectly. Okay. Well, I'm kind of going rogue, I'm abandoning my birds. Yeah. Oh hey, the nice little recycling for the, uh, hat disposal? None of them work. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> um, I just figured it's a zoo, people have rubbish. True enough. Probably, uh, waxy thing to do. Oh wait, there's like a big dumpster that Voxelli is made of food. Big and green, there it is! Hello! have a little bit of lean with the wind that they're flying. Turn you a skosh. And maybe I'll group you with the other bird a bit more. Let's try that. Kind of give them a bit of lift. That's what I think they'll need next. Just turn this on so I can see it. Of course. Wait, what? This is only 379 entities. Awesome. That's efficiency right there. Mm, that's pretty good. That means like we're on the final day and we're only 300 entities go absolutely wild. <laughs> what should we that's... add to that? <laughs> Is there anything obvious that we're missing because we've been so close to, to, to a project? Yeah, little plant box things. Yes. Did I turn these the wrong way? I did, I think. That's the head. I oh, like the new, the new plug here. This is cool. Right. is a bird. Are you quoting a Leonard Skinner song? Oh, no, I was just zoning out. <laughs> I was like, yay, the birds, pretty. <laughs> I just like when they're turning with the wind a little bit. It's a detail that's so small, nobody's probably even going to see it. But I will, and it matters to me. Hey, the birds are doing the bird thing. Where they Look fly. at those birds of burden. And they flap and stuff. They sure do. Love it. Between the birds and the cars, like, this place is starting to feel alive. 
Yeah. I'd like to see. Is it the scale cake? I'm gonna eat it. Oh no, it doesn't work. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably not a good idea. Otherwise, you'll end up in one of these cages. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Were you about to say something? I think I, I cut you off for a sec. Nah. Uh, okay. What are they called? Tin styles? Oh, okay. There's the one that I did for the roller coaster, but it doesn't fit the aesthetic. Mm. What is this roller coaster tycoon? <laughs> no, this is Zoo Tycoon. We were very particular about that. <laughs> Can we get away with these turn styles, this thing? Oh, that's nice. Um, can I give a stop start and see what it'll look like from spawn? Sure. Get myself in the camera. I don't think that breaks anything. It's nice. Okay. It's a uh, pretty obvious path right into the middle here. Yeah, so you got your in and your out. That's good. Could maybe tidy the collisions to only collide with the main blue box? Yes, that's a great idea. Only if those in as guides. I mean, I feel like 90% of people are going to see this and like jump over the top like yeah. criminals. But, <laughs> <laughs> but for those that want the immersion, the character of the. Yeah, they're. Just a little bit of box pinch. Stop, criminal scum. Perfect. Yeah? You hit me up. I think it worked when I... Yeah, perfect. I like all these little details, like with the plenty of recycling bins. And... Oh, I, I need to pick my mask back up. I forgot. I stopped started. Oh, there we well. go. Oh, masks. Oh, that's the one you want. Oh, oh, I know what I could do with the other two. We can have one near the mon monkey enclosure. Ooh, yeah. It's kind Here's of the monkey enclosures mm. or monkey house. Maison de monkey. Maison de monkey. I'm just imagining a monkey with like the beret now. <laughs> <laughs> the monkey with the petit collision. Avec une baguette. <laughs> yeah. mm. El poison. It's in. In poison. I'm, I'm the worst at the gender of things in, in French, so I I would just believe whatever you picked. <laughs> <laughs> well, you live in Canada. I know, I, I know. Be French. <laughs> I am well aware. <laughs> no parlez-vous en français, mon chéri? Je parle assez. <laughs> I, I, enough to get by. <laughs> but if somebody like points out that I don't know the gender of baguette, then I think I'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> You've made it. <laughs> I think. Uh, <laughs> I get the stuff that I that I have to and I, I practice a lot like Animal Crossing has been super helpful for um, just general definitions of stuff like a lot of furniture types of fish bugs and stuff 
I didn't know how to say or what the genders of them would even be. So like, it's at this point just slowly picking up as I go. But I got all the sentence structures and stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of shared words that make things a lot easier. For the French accent. <laughs> a little bit. There we go, we got some planner boxes. Uh, okay. Um, I want to do the closure. I mean, move that elephant. And then, secondly, we need like a... a it's cutting out. Drink. I'm hearing you cut out kind of a... Kind of a bit. Ah. Um. Let's add a place for these elephants to drink. Right. Yes. So area. That, that's true. A watering hole. Watering hole. Okay. I could terrain it again, like I did with the lions. Although that, uh, very cool, I don't think we would need to do that simply because there's like a natural mount the mountain curves so i think it just pulled uh, it in a way yeah i kind of see kind of see well if i quit whipping my camera around i think i see what you mean come on go away oh there it is Whoa. there it is Oh, I see what you're doing. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Actually, it would be kind of cool to have like a, a little like tree spot in the middle of the watering hole. Yeah, and a bit of grass, like one of the hill objects, right? Yeah. To sit on. So oh, this thing, grass, grassy outcrop. Oh, Whoa. you're already on it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, ignore it. You go with yours. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's a nice little island. Perfect. I'm gonna make this splashable. Wait a second. Then... I don't have to do that. I can just do this. You can just copy it. Yeah. Taste is new. It's so good. I mean, I need splish and splash in there right now. <laughs> I'm I'm already on my way. I'm on <laughs> Splash! Yes! Oh wait, collision has to be adjusted. Box. Trigger. No walking on water allowed here. There we go. Beach. Beach blue. Oh no! It needs moving over slightly. Oh, uh, oh, that's okay. It's fine. But then some of the nice things. Oh, what happened? Oh, no, I pressed the wrong button. Oh. There we go. I like it just with like these little. Yeah. Add detail, don't need detail. Right, we mm -hmm. need some fish in this in here. We have to have some. Yes, we have almost every animal type that there is. We got birds, we got land animals, we got Perfect. everything but fish. Oh my god, the duh, <laughs> doodle fish. <laughs> Hello. 
Excellent. Doodlefish has ears? Of course Doodlefish has ears. What fish doesn't have ears? <laughs> <laughs> what about that? Well, that way. Perfect. <laughs> I feel I feel like he's like a fit, well, not the not a catfish, but there's this kind of fish that just sort of hangs out at the bottom, bottom feeding, kind of. Um, oh, I'm so bad at this. What is it called? Quick, Google it. You know, like when whales fall and those fish that they clean up on it and stuff? That's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the parasites. Yeah. This one's doing a fun little wiggle. Ah, there we go. That's what I needed. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Let's grab a cube. There's a geometry cube. Now let grab this, transform, parent entity, cube. Oh, are you gonna spin him? I'm gonna spin him a little. Awesome. I think after this we can probably put a bow on it. It's almost four. Yeah. Gotta make our elephant. Gonna take a sippy break. The wrong way, mate. Oh, that that seems legit. I've I've seen a fish swim like that before. I swear. Oh yeah, perfect. That's right. a good pace too. And then collision. Go for a delete, and then geometry delete, and then let's all this. Oh, I can't grab it. There you go. Excellent. Oh, I can't do anything with it because it's parented. Oh, are you trying to duplicate him? Yeah. Yeah. So let's just disable this. Uh, remove the parent. Okay. I suppose it doesn't really matter if it has it or not, because I can just put Gizmo on it. Troll cube. Ow, that's a big cube. I think we made a lot of progress, like only on stream doing this, you know? Mm. I just ran all the way back through it and realized how much we got. This is nice. Entity. Oh, I renamed it. Oh, the cube doesn't exist anymore. Peach. I'll put on another mask in time for the walkthrough. I think I'll go with lion. Peach. And then if I enable this script once more. Yeah. Uh, visible off. Oh, nice. They're kind of like the yin yang fish, sort of yeah. swimming in unison. That's awesome. <laughs> this doodle fish is a bit daft, but I like it. <laughs> He's chilling. <laughs> They're chilling. Plural. <laughs> I 
Right. What do you think? Are we ready? Almost. Let okay. me... Right. So... I'd like... Could you pause the game for a second for me? Uh, of course. Thank you. Let's take this one. Where are the other birds? Where did they go? There was a flock of them just now. Keep those two. Ah, there you go. Oh! This one is on a different frame to all the others. So, let me come over here, open, mine, animation, delay animation on stop. Which script is it? Is it that one? <laughs> yes, question mark. I think it's so. If you just want to offset it, right? Is random delay between zero seconds or one second. Okay. Here we go. Alright, I'll press play. I think a script broke. Oh no. I'm seeing pink boxes on the fish. Okay. One sec. I wondered if that was the right script. It apparently is not. I think there are other things within this game that have it on. Let me see if I can't find those. Yeah, there are two. I have two scripts called the same thing, and I need to oh. delete one of them. And I okay. didn't realize that there were two of them. I see. Or oh, this might not work. I don't know. There aren't any pink boxes here. refreshed and everything works. Oh. It could be the fact that start was never done not entirely. Um uh, should I just do a a refresh? Uh, like yeah, the page? <clears throat> yeah yeah I'm in so if there's any mad mess. Okay. I'm refreshing mine now. I'm loving this. This has been so much fun. I'm glad. I'm like, it's come together so nicely. Mm -hmm. Especially with everything that you've done with it, like the the sign, the fish, the camel enclosure. I'm gonna have to refresh one more time because it kicked into low graphics mode. I think my computer is arguing with me a little bit today. Oh, I got caught in a car. Awesome, okay. Don't click exactly. low graphics. Ah, oh, low graphics again. Why? Um, I think you can go, you can add underscore low underscore graphics equals false. Low, is it low spec mode is false? We do a quick. Lows just after the multiplayer link? Yes, it will be an ampersand low underscore graphics underscore mode equals false. But let me just double check. Ah, it's gonna be question mark game renderer. Question mark game renderer. Underscore low spec underscore spec. mode equals off. Equals off. Here we go. Fingers crossed. Oh, yeah. Um, 
Nope. 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 Okay, I'm just gonna... Whoa. No I got more. caught in a loop. That's alright. I'll give it one more try. Let's see if I can get it to render <laughs> appropriately. The joys of having like five tabs open, right? Yep. So far, so good. Please stay, please stay. I think we're good. Sweet. Excellent. <laughs> welcome to our weekly art challenge, Zoo! Yay! Welcome to the Zoo! Walk right past the turnstiles. Tickets are free here. Yeah. Stop by the gift shop. Pick up your mask. I think I'm feeling... I'm just, I'm just really vibing the buffalo today. You know what? That's it. Fair enough. <laughs> There's a snack bar with a cake you're not allowed to eat. That's okay. You don't want to uh, fill up too fast right before you walk all the way through this zoo. And don't forget to check out our Twitch channel. <laughs> yes, and here's here's duplicate me plugging the Twitch and YouTube for all the people that aren't here today. Um, and Ashley getting people over into our Discord. This cool mode of thing. Credits where it's due from DMM. Let's stop by week one. And check out all of everyone's cool lions. I'm gonna jump into edit mode so I can get my camera right nice and up on these. As a uh, Foxy does these um, excellent little animations, I want to get all that little detail visible. There's like some outlining that happened on this one. I love my funky pants. <laughs> Guys, I just realized that we've stopped putting mask artists in there. Oh, well, I think um, the McFunky Pants mask is in the buffalo enclosure. Oh, uh, right, you mean yeah. the NPCs that wear the masks. Yes, that's right. Um, yes. So, lion. Fine. Alex the lion. And then... I don't know where to put this. Um, oh, um, I do know where to put this. Yes. Perfect. And Alex the lion, he's he's from something, right? Madagascar. Right, so. yes, the movie Madagascar. Alright, and then let's delay animation on start. Remove. Uh, artist DMM. There he is. There we go. And At the mask station on the NPCs, probably on DMM right now. Nope, that's a different mask. <laughs> it's an excellent mask ring. And you've got the like personality of his face, like with that sort of half lilt smile that he's got. Yeah. I tell you what, it took a while. <laughs> yeah, like fitting like character that's drawn for high res models into pixel art is never gonna be easy just by design. But good go it. You've got even like the eyes looking up and to the right, like he's just said a joke and he's like ha oh, about Lol it. the band. Oh. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of good banter in that movie, if I remember right. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Oh, no! I got into the lion enclosure. Help me! <laughs> Where, which wait, which wait. one got you in the end? It was eating me, and then it decided to eat me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't jump into the lion enclosure. All the other ones aren't going to eat you, I think. Maybe don't jump into the buffalo enclosure, just, you know, commonsensical. <laughs> I don't think they're going to immediately eat you like the lions will. Oh, actually, we should probably warn people. Come on. Oh, yes, a sign. Or, yeah, the NPC should say it. There you go. <laughs> Be careful, some lions are mean. Accurate. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, with a... uh... Here you go. 
I love this. There's some really, really cool stuff that comes out of the weekly art challenges every week. I agree. Like McFunky Pants had a excellent entry this or a series of entries. I think he's got one for every week, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's staying steady with it and it's really cute, like the little chibi lion. I remember he said he was like trying to model them in such a way as to make them look like they're really sitting and mm. I get the impression that this lion is right about to pounce. Like he's kinda he's kinda sitting but his his knees are kinda bent and he's kinda ready to jump up at you. Yes. <laughs> and we made this one together on um, stream earlier in. Just a nice little hand idol with a little tail flip. It's so cute. DMM gave them some meat to eat. Yum. Let's go check out week two. There was a Ooh. lot of camels in this enclosure. I think we should start with the NPC first. <laughs> so it's, it isn't obvious, but this is from Walking 80, which is probably popping in, in here. Yeah. Like Cambot by Orkinati. Orkane, Orkanati. Oh. Eh. 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 I think there's an extra in. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> okay. There we go. Wait, there we go. <laughs> Thanks, Lord. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> oh, we got this new set of camels, I thought to you. Yeah. And like, I like the little children following them around. It's exactly enough detail as it needed to be. And they had weird joints. When I was looking at references to try to model my camel, I could, man, mm. they have weird joint bends. Yeah. <laughs> Very <laughs> knobbly legs. So I think that this one's gotten, this little detail they got pretty well mm. here with the, with the joints. And there was some remixes by Orkinady. Very colorful, very vibrant. The rainbow of camels and Cambot. Beep boop. <laughs> Beep boop. McFunky Pants had a happy camel. And this it's such a smile. Like all of McFunky Pants's Entries had like an emotion that made you want to reflect that emotion. I think all of them were smiling. Yeah. And it's kind of an infectious smile, isn't it? It's quite funny because it's just a line of voxels. Yeah. But they're placed exactly right. Yes. Ah. <laughs> nope. Oh, did you fall? I'm trapped. I'm fine. Everything's fine. This is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Were you trying to escape your your own camel entries? Because they're like no. right here and they're so like the texture of the fur is really nice and also you got that droop in the snoot that the camels have. <laughs> excellent, excellent droop snoot <laughs> work here. <laughs> Tell you what though, the, the dark spots on the back, the hump and the yeah. shoulder, they were supposed to be like longer fur but i don't think i was succeeded in making that look like uh, longer fur it just kind of looks like shadow yeah i can see the the confusion between shadow and long fur here i definitely get the impression it could be a longer fur um mm. here perhaps like following the joint from here as if it's following the muscle structure from the top of its shoulder all the way up to its back. Or just like going with a completely different um, hue a little bit. Or yeah. just change the hue, make it 10 more yellow and 20 down in value or something. Mm -hmm. Just to separate it, but other than that, like it, it reads like either way. 
through. A shift in the texture. And nicely done. Mm -hmm. Like the structure of it is all there, the joints behavior and the interestingly knobbly legs that camels have. Again, <laughs> good work. <laughs> I think that was the most challenging part for me. Um, mm -hmm. Here's, here's what I tried to do. You absolutely nailed it as usual. I don't, I don't know how confident I feel about the joints exactly because I, I think I did just straighten out the legs in the end just to save myself the heartache of not knowing how to depict That is exactly why I bent the legs. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just like, you know what, he's, he's either spooked and standing straight up <laughs> or Summer doesn't know how to make those legs. <laughs> And that's okay, because I think he's he's comfortable looking. He's got that, that droop in the ear, a little bit of the drooping mm. snoot, and those big eyelashes. I liked that the most when I was looking at the camel pics was just eyelashes. Yeah. They got big blinkers. <laughs> big blinkers. <laughs> yeah. Can we, just, can we also just appreciate this amazing bridge that we're currently standing on? Oh, yeah. That was, uh, that was your idea. That was awesome. And just yeah. like good navigation all the way through. It's real um, crisp and clear what the route is. And mm. it feels like a zoo a lot more, especially like a well thought out zoo just for having the extra touch of like the hedgerows and mm -hmm. the lamp posts kind of separate the sidewalk from the road road. Mm. It's nice. I think we did it. Yeah. You did a great job here, I love it. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm enjoying this area. So yeah, in week three, we had buffaloes. Um, let me just kick into my fly camera here. There's a portal for for this one in particular because Anders has an interesting um, like flag and gathering of the bulls. I'm not sure if it was if it was the running of the bulls, if that's what the flag depicts, or if it's the I'm not super sure, but I like the animation that came with them because it does look like within 10 voxels or less that they're actually charging. Like this, this bull is 10 out of 10 headbutting. <laughs> I just realized we haven't posted a multiplayer link. Ah, uh, yes. I'm going to publish and not. save so anybody that joins can, can actually run around. Yeah. And then make funky pants with their infectious smiles on the slot of the final mask. I think the, the one that I'm wearing right now. And right before stream last week, we uh, just put the finishing touches on a bull that looks more like a bear the more I look at it. Well, it's kind of boar, kind of buffalo, kind of bear. But he's just chilling. I'm just gonna let him live. Yeah. He's also got them big eyebrows. <laughs> he looks a bit angry. Oh, yeah, he's he's a little grumpy. He doesn't know what's on his back right now. Oh, I need to eat. I need to drink. You know. A long way. And then going into week four, we have a quick pit stop over here for DMM's excellent mask. For the baby monkey. With oh, the wait big grin. What's up? There's no animation playing. Oh. There we go. That's better. Ah yes. The blink. <laughs> I'm I'm having a staring contest. <laughs> no more staring contest. <laughs> I love this little monkey as well. Yes, I... this is a custom head uh, yes. for Blue Owl, I believe. That's the one. So charming and a lot of personality into it because it's like embrace the voxel style of being like long rectangles instead of going with a very um, beveled curve for the swirl in the ears or the swirl of hair on top of the head. It's mm. angular and that adds to the stylistic nature of it. Love that. Plus it's cute. <laughs> yeah, 
And it's cute. cute. Can't speak for cute factor. And then finally. And week four we had elephants. And your chill elephant mask with its excellent use of negative space. And scale of the ears. And perk of the eyebrows. Hello of the tusks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We have a uh, Mick Funky Pants's cute baby Ellie elephant, which I'm gonna lift out of the ground just a little bit, just a skosh here Whoops. to get them situated on the ground. There we go. Is there like mid walk cycle? And I like that they that they went for that instead of just keeping the legs um, strict and straight, because I think a lot of the animals in our enclosures are modeled as if they're standing straight. This one's. Got a little bit of motion to him. I like that. And good curves all the way throughout. The curve of the head, the ear, the roundness. Like the French curve kind of effect that they have here, 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 and here. <laughs> few spots. <laughs> Just a few spots. It's all very, very cute. I love it. It's been a great time watching everybody's mission come in. It always is, but I don't know. There's something about whenever we do animal prompts that just make people get really excited. Yeah, you get to make a creature. You get to kind of give them a little bit of emotion and action, whether it's a big old headbutt or an idle cycle on a lion. Mm -hmm really happy baby elephant there's a lot of room to put some personality into these and i think yeah. people did did that really well and thank you for like hanging out and helping with the building of uh the weekly art challenge zoo you know what it's been a genuine pleasure from our idea stage to getting in in the nitty-gritty and just adding like little details and whatnot to just get yeah. in with me. It's been really fun. I've enjoyed it. Thanks for having me on to me. Thank you. Um, I think um, you have other plans for the evening, so I won't keep you when I start to model the elephant that I'll do for the finishing touch for this zoo. But thank you for joining us for the final tour and putting the uh, finishing bits and bobs around in the zoo. Yeah, thanks so much. I'm uh, going to leave you to uh, do your elephant building. Uh, All right. Well, enjoy the rest of the dream. Thanks. <laughs> I hope you have an awesome Monday. Thank you very much. See you Shoot later. Bye. Bye, chat. There he goes. Oh, he's left his mask behind. That's okay. We're about to jump out of this game anyway. Uh, let's go into the voxel object editor if everything is saved. Everything's saved? We're good to go. Just going to jump into the object editor. And let's take a look at some elephants. Oh, sorry, messages came in. Apologies. All right, good to go. So what? We have a baby elephant. We have a mask of an elephant. What else can we make? I think I've done two very standard looking versions of animal sculpts. I could do the same here. Let me get some reference images up. Hmm. Let's just start. Let's not worry about it too much. Let's just start. Let's 
solid fill tool because I like to build out a shape and then carve in. Let's just get what the shape of the main torso is going to be. I give myself a lot of room to sculpt them out. And let's take a look here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to put this reference image on the other laptop. There we go. So that's what an elephant looks like. For me to go on. Just gonna lift it and let's try to sightline this a little bit. I don't think I talk about sightlines, but I still use this leftover technique from art school days. Because I didn't um, actually go to 3D modeling school or anything like that. I just took what I already knew and kind of went from there. And by sightlines, I just mean when you're drawing 2D, imagine a line from whatever shape you're currently working on to the next one. Like this one bit of torso should be higher than or lower than this, thicker than or thinner than that. And just leaving yourself a little mental line. Like from here. It's just putting a little imaginary ruler down to tell yourself, I have this much torso left in this direction because it has to be, if this is this wide, this should be only this wide or even less, like that. And if it's that high at the back, then the torso should come down in a curve and become thinner. Probably even one or two more times. Like that. I don't know if I explained that very well, but sightlines is how I almost feel like I cheated through life drawing classes. Just sort of measure it out. And that shape for the head is going to actually be thinner before it becomes thicker and not that much higher than the torso, I think. But the torso is going to curve upwards as it goes into the shoulders. give ourselves a line for that. Way out to there. Does he become wider in the shoulder? Not so much. It seems like he kind of becomes thinner starting from here. Like the shoulder just curves in right before the neck. and separate the neck out a little bit. Say by that much.
not much to look at for now, huh? <laughs> we can start adding some more identifying characteristics in a little bit. I just want to make sure that I get the block out kind of where I want it. I went for a kind of cuter shape, like maybe a Dumbo kind of thing. Well, that's also very baby elephant. We already have a baby elephant. has legs, he has a trunk. And I'm gonna say his legs are probably this much further behind the neck. And the legs get a better photo. so I can get the rest of this on here. Well, this jitter is really... What on earth is causing that? I lose something. Seems about right. I think that the legs come back in the back. It's very tricky to move.
Let's just carve into the leg a little bit. if it kind of becomes thinner about this far down. Even thinner. some of the rest of the body match up to that. Kind of connects back up to the body. The curve coming upwards from there. Kind of like that. behind those shoulders. Starting to become a little rounder on the sides here. Let's start on the forelegs. Let's just kind of cut in. I'm really just following this photo without really asking why it looks that way or how. in biology class right now. shoulder blade. Let's see if I can do that freehand or if maybe I'll have to work on it. Okay, 
so the belly has a little turn now. That'll help. These forearms seem to kind of come out from the outside, and then the inside of the arms should be the part that I get kind of sculpted in from. So let's just take some of that out. Nope, I missed a few buckles. There we go. shapes that we've blocked out a little bit. Probably going to have to do this once or twice more in a moment. with those little feet. change in that amount, cut another line, all the way to the bottom of the foot. Now I'll add a little bit back where that ankle kind of points outwards. I've gotten carried away with just this one leg. I can't forget the rest of the model. I should really zoom out and check it out. Make sure I'm not getting ahead of myself. But I just think he's got these cute feet in this reference photo. Okay, let's get back to the rest of the elephant. Draw the rest of the owl, according to the joke. That's 
what I'll do. I'll go ahead and give his torso some curve. See how far we can get away with it though. This line that I know I'm gonna to have to follow in a minute as his leg does sink into the body here before it comes back outwards kind of like that sense in a moment. starting to see that curve coming from the back of the leg it kind of becomes a knee here I think it's gonna have to move upwards though the knee is not lining up with the knee here probably just by one
pull it back down. Just a sec. Well, that was a big old sneeze. I hope nobody heard that. Kind of a flat butt currently. It should curve a lot more before it reaches that point. Let's just take these lines in. moving pretty slow at the moment and my line is probably really slow to you right now but that's okay I don't want to rush this anyway organic shapes can be very difficult so let's not hurry through it
the back side's really starting to come together. Kind of tapers nicely. There's more of a side curve here. stream where you get to watch Summer Sculpt an Elephant Butt for 20 solid minutes. It's the little thing. to curve in and down, comes back up where the eyebrows will be, kind of like that. Like there's um, this kind of bump at the back of the head there. Let's see if I can get a better photo of just that part. perfectly masked by the ears. And kind of avoiding the ears is a conscious decision.
might keep the flat top of the head. <laughs> Just focus on this curve here. anyway. What is it that makes the adults look so much more distinguished? I'm missing that detail. Tusks probably. Probably run out of time before I can actually get this one into the zoo. But if we don't make it, I'm grateful for anyone that stuck around.
There we go. Oh, he's more mature. His head's not so round. Shift click, not control click. before the end of the sculpt. And I'll probably finish the rest off camera. Just gonna drop those giant ears in. There we go, big floopy ear. It's not a great drawing day, but it's a drawing day. Seems about right. I should probably come up by here. Around that side of the head. Oh well. For those that stuck around, thank you all for hanging out and enjoying the little goofy elephant sculpt and I hope y'all had a fun time at the zoo and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I can't wait to see y'all again next week as we get back into uh, particle effects. I'll see y'all on Monday. <laughs>